Hi, welcome to Linux Zone. In this video tutorial I will show, how to base install Arch Linux, I am using VMware Virtual Machine, and you can use these steps to install Unreal Machine too. Before continue, I assume that you have UFI firmware and motherboard, that most modern MOBOs have it. So for VMware, edit the .vmx file in text editor, and add this line as shown on screen, then save and exit. So, now start the virtual machine or real machine, then boot into live USB or ISO. You will see this grub menu, select first option, press enter. Next, you will see a root shell. First run this command to list console fonts. Then run this command to set console font. Now, we have to see the storage devices, run this command to list all storage devices. You can run this command to take help ladder in installation process. As you can see SDA is our hard disk, whose size is 25 gigs. So before install we have to create partitions on it run this command. As, stated earlier it is EFI install, so select GPT. Now select new, in partition size write 512M, and press enter. This is EFI partition. So, select type as EFI system. Now, select free space, press enter to create new partition, this will use for swap, write 2 gigs or more as you want, press enter, then select type, and select Linux swap from the list. Now, rest of free space used as root partition. So select new, leave as it is and press enter. Then select write, and type, yes, and press enter. And last select quit. Now, run lsblk command to see partitions. sda1 is efi partition, format it as, fat32 with this command. Then, format swap, which is SDA2. Then turn on swap with swap o and command. Now it's time to format root partition, with ext4, SDA3 is root partition. So, now check internet with ping command. Press Ctrl plus C to stop ping. Now run this pacman command. Then back up pacman mirror list with this command. Now install a package called reflector. Then run this command, to update mirror list. Type your country, like US. Now, mount the root partition, with this command. Then run packstrap command, you can leave Linux firmware, if installing in virtual machine. Now wait for download and install. Now, run this command, it will generate fstab file of mounted devices. You can see it with cat command. Now run this command, it will see h root the mounted directory. Now, run this command to list time zone. Press enter for scroll more until you find yours. Press q to exit. Then run this command to set time zone. Now, edit a file, run this command, scroll down with arrow key, and uncomment your language, by removing hash. Then press Ctrl plus O to save, Ctrl plus X to exit. 
Now, run this command to generate locales. Then run this command, change name of locales according to yours. Then run this export command. Again change lang according to your language. Optionally run this ke command to check. Now run this echo command to set the host name. Mine is ArchVM, so set according to yours. Now run this command to create a file called hosts. Now, edit the file with nano, run this command. And write these lines in the file, as shown on screen. Here ArchVM is my host name, added earlier. Save the file and exit. Now, set up the root password, run this command, and type your password. Next command is to install grub and edboot mgr package with pacman. Then create a directory efi, run this command. Now, mount efi partition on the created directory, run this command. Then run ke command to show the mount points. As you can see sda1 is mounted. Now, install grub bootloader, run this command. Then create grub configuration file, run this command. Now install sudo, run this command. Then add a user, run this command, here demo is username. Then set password for newly created user, run this command. Now, add user to wheel group, run this command. Then edit by sudo file, run this command. Remove hash in front of wheel. Then save and exit. At this point our base installation is completed, now you can install the desktop environment, such as KDE Plasma, Gnome, XFCE etc. After install packages you want, type exit, then unmount the directories, run this command. So, that's it in the video, like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in next video.